The Alabama Language Institute, which is located in Gaston, Alabama, is 45 years old. It is the oldest intensive English program in the state. Ms. Joyce Nelson helped establish the program and was the international student advisor for 27 years. We asked Ms. Nelson to reflect on the early years of the program. Well, to be able to have that experience that I never dreamed that it would happen because I worked in elementary school, school for the deaf, uh, and many other situations, and I never dreamed that I'd be involved with international students. But since that time, it has been my privilege to visit 22 countries. And um, it's been one of the greatest blessings in my life to learn of other cultures and to meet families, parents of the children. Well, having uh, the administration uh, for it, for the program, accepting the program, and for the uh, wonderful teachers. The, we had wonderful teachers, very caring. I had a lot of host families. Uh, they've kept up with the students over the years. And the, many of them have visited in the home of the student when they went home. Uh, Pat Patasavi, uh, yeah, uh, he calls me every Christmas. He calls me every Mother's Day from Bangkok. In May 1968, I began my career at Gadsden State Community College as a guidance counselor. In 1973, unknown to me, there were two students enrolled at the college from Japan and they had registered for 101 English. Their English teacher, Elizabeth Thompson, came to me very concerned because these students knew no English. Very soon, President uh, Naylor and Dean Hawkins were addressing the situation with me and I shared with them that there was such a a uh, thing as teaching international students at LSU. Several of us flew to Baton Rouge to visit their language institute. We patterned our early program to theirs as, as the beginning of the international student program at Gadsden State. I was international student advisor for 27 years. The program gave, grew and grew to as many as 200 students from 40 different countries. Alabama Language Institute was formed in 1973 to teach English as a second language. It's been a great blessing, just a great blessing to my life, and to be able to hear to get cards from them and to get calls at Christmas and at different times. And then when they come back to visit, they always want to come back to visit. And they come and they go to the offices and find out where I live. And the doorbell rings and there they come, <laughs> mom and daddy and the kids. <laughs> but um, it's been rewarding really has.